welcome to this uh, VHF UHF channel and um, this uh, video is to answer a question uh, from uh, a lot of um, it's a question I get quite often it's a question I get on shortwave receivers and of course I get it from time to time on the VHF UHF range and the question that is coming a lot is um, you know, I don't hear that much on my uh, scanner radio. Uh, would an outdoor antenna be good, and what should I use, and so on. Let's first, before, you know, in, in doing any videos and suggesting video of uh, any antennas, let's just be uh, very, very uh, fair here in uh, this answer. Most of the viewers out there have portable scanner radios. And portable scanner radios are not usually designed for outdoor antennas. I'm not saying all of them, and I'm not, I'm not saying that some of them might not be good. But I can tell you by having used a lot of scanner radios over the last 30 years, that in general, the portable scanner radios are better left with the little, either the rubber ducky antenna that you have, or if it's not that, you might improve it with, um, I've, you know, that's what I use on a lot of my radios, um, a uh, extendable telescopic that's made for wideband listening. That usually improves over the rubber duck antenna, the little rubber antenna that comes with the radio, but it's not a full-blown outdoor antenna, so it doesn't, you know, give the radio too much signals. What happens with a lot of portable scanner radios is that an outdoor antenna, especially in a big city, is overloading the radio too much. And it actually has a reverse effect. When a radio is overloaded, it actually desensitizes. It means the signals are actually weaker than when you had a regular you know, rubber duck antenna because the circuits can't cope with those strong signals around you. There is an exception to this rule, I would add, and it's probably if you live in a rural area far from everything. If you don't have a lot of strong signals around you and you do live in a rural area, now maybe a portable scanner radio could actually benefit from a outdoor antenna because it's gonna give it that edge, that signal that might just not be strong enough with the regular onboard antenna. The external antennas are better fitted for what are desktop scanner radios. Desktop scanner radios, by design, are often uh, made to actually accept outdoor antennas better because they are made to actually react better in their circuits. An amplifier, the RF amplifier, usually is better shielded and better uh, designed to cope with very strong signals. So having desktop receivers might actually make the use of an outdoor antenna a good idea at that point. Um, you know, I use the Nikon ICR 8500. That's a very big and expensive desktop radio, but it's actually designed for that. It can cope with having an outdoor antenna. You know, even a expensive radio like the Icom ICR 20, ICR 30s are not capable of being used with this simple vertical antenna I have outdoors. It gives you an idea of how portable receivers are in general not designed for that. So think twice um, and it depends really on your location, how many strong signals you've got around and the type of radio you're using also. Um, but it's not always a good idea to actually use an outdoor antenna. If you enjoy my videos please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.